Hello guys and welcome back to another tutorial with comment and it's time that we're going to create like the snake movement and for all the guys who don't follow this snake 3d tutorial please just follow this tutorial it's nothing going to do with like the actual snake 3d except we are going to create a feature of it that you can make like objects are going to follow the snake or the head of the snake so if you're not um, following like the main series of creating snake 3d you can still follow this and if you are following the main series of snake 3d you also should follow this because it's very important so we're going to create a new uh, script called snake movement and we are going to use a list so we need to use a system dot collections dot generic so we need a few variables the very first one is a public list body parts a public list transform and from that body parts and it's a new list the second thing is a public float minimal distance. This is because you do want to make sure that people or the body parts are not going to uh, be in each other because that looks weird and that's not happening in real life. We will always also get a public float speed, which is going to be one. You're also going to need a public float rotation speed which is going to be 50 um, also going to need the public game object body prefab and that's because you are going to instantiate every body prefab because you don't want to actually add them within the scene uh, yourself if you've got like a thousand uh, a snake of a thousand body parts it's just very annoying um, then you are going to create a few private floats a private float distance a private float a private transform I mean current body part and a private transform previous body part I'm going to explain those three variables in a second because uh, but first we're going to create another ver um, function and we are going to call it add body part so a public void void add snake part or body part I mean and it's going to be a transform new part and it's an, and if you instantiate something you are going to um, instantiate you can put behind it as game object and it's a game object but you actually want it to only cut like the uh, you want to we only need to transform so we're going to put it between brackets and behind it we're just going to put transform so if you say here it's uh, as game object dot transform and this transform because we only need that so instantiate um, a body prefab and we're going to do it on the last part of the snake because there's like the well it's not like that there's going to be like the new part so snake uh, body parts I mean and it's going to be body parts dot count whoops body parts dot count minus one because body uh, if you count a list it will actually give like because you start at zero with a list it will be like a too high number if you just put here body parts dot count we're just going to copy this because we need it again for the rotation we're just going to put here position and here dot rotation so we got a new part and we're going to assign a few things a new part dot set parent and that's going to be this transform because we don't want it to be a mess inside our scene view 
Also, we're going to add it towards the body parts. So we can move it around because that's what we're going to do right now. So we're going to create a new function, a public void move. And move are going to start with like the actual movement of the head. Um, what the system is going to do is instead of uh, that all the body parts are going to calculate how they should be um, in from the perspective of the snake head, it's just going to be calculated from where is the position of the body part before me and where should I be when it is moving. And if you just start with like the uh, body part behind the head or actually move the head at first and then the body part behind the head and so on, it will just work like um, like a snake. So a float current speed is going to be the speed. Because we're going to make sure that the snake head will always move or the body part, whatever you want to call it. It will always move until uh, you, or also if you press W, but it will move twice as fast. So if input dot cat key key code dot W current speed multiplied by two. So now we're going to do true or one translation and one rotation. So we're going to do that with the body parts dot uh, or from that the first one the head and dot translate it translate and we're going to do it uh, we're going to move it forward of course. I think that part is very logical so dot forward we're going to multiply it by the current speed. We're going to multiply it by time dot smooth delta time, and we're going to uh, put it in a space dot world. So this is going to be a little bit harder to just explain why I'm going to use smooth delta time instead of delta time. Um, the problem with this system is that if you uh, press outside the game and you don't have the run in background turned on. Um, your delta time is going to be very high, so you are going to move very fast suddenly. Smooth delta time will just make sure that it will be a little bit less. Um, it's just a little bit of a detail, but I think it works. Also the problem is then that it will still run the uh, for loop and for some reason, I can explain it, but it will take a lot of time. If you got like around 4000 body parts, which is an insane amount probably your player will never get that high, at least I hope so. Um, but if you got like that high, it will sometimes lag and you got by the way then a frame rate of five seconds per, uh, five frames per second because you see so many body parts. Um, but you will, uh, it will sometimes cause some lag. Uh, so, and we'll just make sure that uh, we'll make that every body part is at the exact same position, which is a little bit weird. Um, but just remember that, that you can um, make a, a snake part with 4,000 parts, which is really insane amount. Um, once I succeeded with creating a snake from 8,000 parts without causing any lag, but still, if you just think about it, it's just insane. So just remember that. So we're going to make a make an, uh, for loop, a for loop, not an if. And it's going to be start at one because body parts here were already moved and rotated, which we are going to do here within a second. But I first want to explain this for loop very quickly. Um, and it's going to be until the snake part or the body parts that count is reached. And you're going to add every time one. But in order to work, you also need like that it needs to rotate. So if input let's get axis horizontal isn't zero, so it means that you are pressing a button. Um, we don't need this by the way. You are going to move around the head 
which is going to be rotate which we are going to do like this we're going to do it on a factor tree dot up multiplied by the rotation speed multiplied by the time dot delta time multiplied by the input dot get axis horizontal and I think this rule or line is very simple um, it actually just do that it will rotate around the uh, I axis it will uh, and it will be the speed of the rotation speed multiplied by the time delta speed and this will make sure that if you put like the uh, left key it will move to the left and right it will move to the right so here we're going to set the current body part which is of course snake parts or body parts I mean I'm sorry dot I well the previous body part is of course body parts I minus one and we're going to calculate the distance because the distance is going to be very important I already said that you don't want them to be inside each other so we need to calculate the distance of uh, the previous and the current body part to find out if it isn't too close and we're not going to do it like um, if it is too close we won't move it because then we'll get like a lag in movement what we are going to do is create like the new position that's like the position you want to be in the end um, dot position and we are also going to lock by the way the i axis because for some reason and I'm not going to explain why it is because it's a very boring long story um, it will just make that the actual uh, body parts are going to be moved upwards um, I can explain this it's very boring so I won't do it uh, so we're just going to put the I axis towards the same position um, as the uh, head so now we're going to set the time and that's time dot delta time so that's very simple we're going to multiply it by the current distance so if it's very far away it will move faster than if it's very close we're going to divide it by the minimal distance and multiply by the current speed and we're also going to say that if t is bigger than dot five we are going to just say it is uh, dot five we're going to add those two lines because otherwise we'll get some uh, lacking movement sometimes because sometimes it will be more than one even and it will just set inside the same object and we don't want that we want it to be at most it's half of it also it makes sure that uh, the body parts will move inside each other so dot position and the position is going to be a factor three dot slurp between the current body part current oops current body part dot position and the new position and t and we're going to copy this and paste this here and put here the rotation and here um a coloration dot slurp because we the rotation in the um, position is just like it will just uh, take a value between it from a first stage that is this and this is going to be a rotation of course and this is going to be from the previous body part dot rotation now we only need to put it in the update and the start function we're going to begin with the start function so at the beginning we want to create that for int e um, is zero until i is um, the same as the start I've got it here you also got a public int um, let me just look it up very quickly um, a public int begin size 
So begin size minus one because you already got the head. Yeah. Then you are going to add every time one. And for that, we are going to add a body part. In the move, we're just going to put movement, or in the update, we're just going to put move. And here we're also going to put that if your input, because you just want to test it if everything will work. So just keycode.q, and you will just add a body part. You will assign it, so we're going to create an empty. We are going to zero this out. Well, not exactly, we're going to put that on dot five. Um, and also we need to zero this your plane out. Um, so here we've got like your game object, you're going to call it snake. And you're going to add the movement script, snake movement script. And you're going to add a 3D object, a sphere, and you're going to call this a body part. You're going to watch your prefabs, just put it right in there. And assign here the body prefab. And here is going to be the very first body part is going to be the head. And we already got that because you want to if you're going to create a snake game, you want that that it will interact with the other body parts. You're also going to create a new layer called snake. And then go to watch your project settings, your physics, and turn this off. Disable that will hit each other because otherwise your physics will take a lot of the memory and body parts that will um, hit each other, it isn't important. So now we will just press and just see how it looks. So it is moving and I've got to assign the begin size, which is going to be five for this uh, example. So as you can see, it is moving. The minimal distance needs to be a little bit higher. And as you can see, we can just fairly simple move it. So around uh, dot 75, maybe a little bit higher. I think even higher. I think this is this is going to be a great value. And if I rotate, let me just quickly rotate it. You can see it just following everything very awesome. If I just add a lot of objects, and I will just change the head, I will just move it a little bit more forward. As you can see by the way, you see that it is already moving with a little bit of a curve, which I think is awesome. Um, so this, I'm just moving it around a little bit fast so you can see that it is working pretty good. And also we could just going to move it upwards so we can actually see it. Um, So as you can see, everything just works as it should be. And if you press W, it will move twice as fast. If you press Q, it will add some body parts and you can just move around and it will just follow the head, which I think is uh, really awesome. So I hope you guys like this. If you did, please leave a like or subscribe. It really helps this channel out. Um, and if you guys want uh, a little bit more in depth about how to create this, just put it in the comment section and I will explain a little bit more. And uh, I see you guys next time. Bye.